This video should help you learn how to use photobucket.com to edit and upload photos for watermarking so that you can display your image in your online store with your store name on it without people taking it. Anyway, so if you don't already have a Photobucket account, go to www.photobucket.com and create one. It takes maybe three minutes. It is a free program and I absolutely love it. Anyway, so once you've created your account, you are going to go to the tab that says Upload Photos and Video. Click on that. Once that appears, you, go, you will go in and choose a file that you're going to add a watermark to. It'll upload the file and it's pretty quick. You can upload more than one file at a time by using their bulk uploader and I believe you can upload 30 to 50 photos at a time, which is really nice. Once your photo is up, you're going to go to the bottom left hand corner of the image and click on the link that says edit this image. A new screen will pop up, so be sure to have your pop up blockers off. And in this editing uh, area, it does have some really nice options. You can auto fix your, your photo, you can resize it. You can crop it, you can rotate it, you can flip it, do all sorts of things. But for today's purposes, we're going to hit the tab that says Decorate. Now, I do like to add borders to some of my photos just because it'll make the image pop if it's kind of a plain thing or image. So if you're going to add a border and uh, watermark your photo, be sure to add your border first because it will skew, skew your watermark off if you do the border second. So let me show you a sample. Um, it does give you several options for the watermarking. I typically go with the first one because it will also allow me to change the color and the size of that um, of the frame. And I like that way, you know, it will allow you to match it up to the main color of the item that you're selling. And once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and you're going to click on it where it says apply. And then you're going to click on the tab that says text. And you'll get this little white pop up window. And once that window is there, be sure to open up the text field. Open it up to the size uh, that you think will be the best for your product and make sure there's enough room for your store or your user ID name. Um, now it also gives you the option to change the font. So you can kind of get creative with this, make it do several different things. Um, just depends on my mood, what I'm selling, on how I'm going to have it appear. There's a quite a few options. And once you've got you're happy with the font and how that looks, you can also um, tilt it. Just in case you've got more than one item on there and you want to make sure that your watermark is big enough to cover everything. After you've done that, you can change the color on the watermark to make sure it doesn't bleed into 
or blend in, I should say, to the item that you're trying to sell. And once after that's all done, you can hit at the top right hand corner of the text options, you can hit transparent and it'll get rid of that box. Now, as you can see, you really can't see the red in there. So I'm going to change that back to maybe maybe a black and I'll change the font to something that stands out a little bit better. And I'll have to change the size of the box again to make sure that it all fits. So there you have it. You've got the name how you want it to appear, big enough. And um, once you're satisfied, you're just going to hit apply. Changes will take place. All the boxes will disappear. And then what you're going to want to do next is you're going to want to either replace the original in your photo, book, photo bucket files, or if you sell in multiple venue, venues and have different user IDs, it's usually best to just save a copy of it so that you can edit each one to the watermark that you choose. Now once you save a copy, it's only saving it to your photo bucket files. So you want to be sure to save it back onto your computer. And by doing that, you're going to just go ahead and you're going to right click it. Save picture as. Give it a name. Make sure you put it in the file box that you want it to go into. And that's that. Happy selling!